do with that? I'm from the States. And uh, this plug don't work for me. I was, uh, you know, digging through all my junk and everything and uh, happened to come across this. And then I remember that uh, this was being thrown out brand new. As far as I know, nothing wrong with it. And it was being thrown out because, uh, you know, I'm guessing it's because of that plug. And it's uh, 230 volts. This is a uh, model 395. This has the uh, off and the, the 1 through 5 variable speed 10,000 to 33,000 RPMs. But uh, yeah, I just uh, I, about the only thing I could use this for is uh, some some parts if uh, if they break off mine. What what I use this one here is a a two seventy five I believe it is. Let me see what that is. Yeah, this is just a model two seventy five. It's not the variable speed one. It's uh, thirty five thousand RPMs. But uh, this is. This is our plug right here, and this is only, of course, uh, 120 volts. But I just want this is this isn't a repair video or anything, so uh, I guess if that doesn't interest you, we'll see you on the next one. But uh, I just figured we'd uh, look, just look at the difference between uh, a 120 and a 220. If you're ever curious, I was, especially the the one. Uh, the, with, with the Euro plug here, uh, I think that's what they call it, the Euro plug. But you know, I guess a bunch of other countries use this too. But uh, I guess I could use this if I uh, get a uh, transformer that can uh, swap out our 120 for 230. So I'm not going to throw it away or anything. But uh, as of right now, I don't have no use for it. So let's, uh, let's just dig in and find out what the difference is between these two. Even though they're not the same model, they're this one, I'm doing this because this is 120 and this is 230. Let's see what they do on the inside for the different voltages there. So uh, let's see, let's, uh, let's take about, let's, let's do the, the one I'm used to, the uh, 120 first. Let's take that apart. So let's just pop this up. Put the parts for one on one side, the parts for the other on the other side. We got our uh, brushes in the side here. Unscrew those. Alright. Should be pretty interesting. I, I, I had never tore apart uh, anything for purposely for a different country or whatever, but uh, we'll, we'll give it a look-see. Take this end off here. And then we got uh, Torx bits. I got the Torx bit. It, uh, of course, well, I guess it does say what it is on there. A 10. A T10. Four bolts on that, or four screws on that, it looks like. Alright, I'm going to set this one off out of the way because once we take these apart, then I'll, I'll lay all the parts the way they should be laid out. So let's crack this open here. And these both work. We're just doing this to uh, explore. So there's the inside of that. Not a whole lot to it. 
Just got our wires from uh, the plug. Goes right in the side. Oh, look at that. Well, that just fell right out. I wonder uh, that probably would have fell out when I was using it sometime. We can fix that though, no problem. Alright, let's pop this out here. Right? Yep, just stuck a little bit. Alright. Don't forget the uh, little thing here. This is the thing you push to change the uh, the bits that you want in there. Just drops in there and that sets over the top of it like that. And then we got this here. So let's see, I guess I'm just going to pull this right out of here. Right? Yep. I have to tighten that up when I put it back together though. So that's all that is. There ain't, uh, looks like it just plugs right into the motor. Take that off there and then uh, looks like we pull this out here. Look at that. All the parts. It's a pretty simple device, huh? I've noticed some uh, videos on the internet that have uh, the different section here. Uh, like a plastic tube or something that if it breaks they have to replace that but that's this here is all metal on this one the 275 one the 275 model the switch which is really dirty because uh, I use this so of course it's going to be dirty all right so let's set that out of the way Set these over here. Let's get this one over here now and lay this one out next to that one. Oh, here, let me get these. I guess we can put these like this. These were in there, that was in there, and that was on there. I'll try to keep all these organized. See how many screws this has. Four screws to pin. See what's the difference in here. Oh, this one's got a little circuit board. Have to see what's on that. There's that part. Uh, we gotta take some screws out here to get our cord out. Both place the same. Yep. they don't uh, put one of these in that one to hold that cord down. I guess they feel they didn't need it. We got two wires coming in. Single phase 230 I'm guessing. So we can't hit we can't hook this up to our, uh, the US's 220 system because uh, 220 or 230 whatever you want to call it because ours is uh, two phase this is a single phase, so it's a ground, and the 230 is coming over the other line. All right, let's uh, well, let's get this off. We got to loosen up two screws that are holding the wires. Come right off. Let's get this cord out of the way.
We don't need to look at a cord. A cord is a cord, right? Uh, I forgot to take the uh, the bushes, the, the brushes out of this one before I took it apart. So let's do that before we go too far. Let's set them right down there. Brushes are the same, of course. Oops, this one done fell apart on me. Brushes look the same as the other one, so I guess we probably could use the brushes if they uh, wear out. So there are some things that would come in handy if uh, mine broke. All right, let's lift this out of here. See. All right. Okay. Same thing with the uh, the little button push thing here. Get that out of the way. Get this in the picture. All right, let's look at this board here. Ah, that's what we got on the inside there. Some uh, inrush uh, protection there. Got a cap. Got a resistor. Let's see if we can read what these are. This is a uh, 100, 100, na 100, nano, 100 nano on there at uh, 275 volts. An X2 uh, capacitor. And then we got a, uh, looks like a 470 ohm resistor down there. CC1, CC1, and CC2. I don't know why they call them that. No idea. Never seen one called that before. Uh, let's see. Let's. Well, these pull out like our wires. The wires on the other one. These just pull right out. Again, with the little rubber on the bearing. This looks the same so far. Get this stuff out of the way. So yeah, these look these look pretty similar. Uh, there is a difference in the uh, the number of uh, contacts here. There's a whole bunch on here, and there's uh, just there's less on that one. These look the same, but uh, I'm sure it has to be different. And then we got the same here. So there's there's some parts that we could replace on mine. These parts look the same, but I'm sure there has to be something different about them. And that pulls off the same there. And then we got a variable. So we got some components down in here. We'll have to take that apart and take a look at that. But uh, let's check. Let's check something out here. Uh, well, let's yeah. Let's check something out here. Let's see what the difference is between these. I got my meter right here. But hopefully that's not gonna be too bright. Uh, that might, let me kill this light over here. Yeah, it's still a little bright. Let me uh, throw something underneath there to lift it up just a little bit. All right, let's check. Let's check and see what the difference is between these. So remember, this is our 231, and this is our 120. So let's let's do some ohm readings on the uh, on the coils here. 24.2 on that one. Uh, 23.7. They're close enough to each other. Let's see what the 121 shows. 
4.8 ohms. So there's a difference right there. 4.8 ohms. So these should be about the same, of course. But uh, we have 4.8 ohms here against the uh, 24 ohms over on here for the 230 side. So let's see what our coils on here read. Now my guess is there's a start and a stop. See if I can uh, recognize where the start and stop is because I'm sure it's all one coil or one thing of wire. Looks like we got a start right here. There's the other one. Okay. Alright, let's let's see what that is. I'm just gonna put my meter on the, this start one and this one that I had over here that I can't see now. There it is. This one right here, I believe. Come on, meter. Let's see. This one right here. And this one right here. 53 ohms. 53.8 ohms. And all this winding. Alright, let's put that there. Let's see what this one is. Well, there's the beginning there. That looks that looks like the beginning there. So we've got one here, we got one here. Okay. So we got one here, directly across the other side of it. 12.8 12.5 well whatever 12 point something so 53 or 54 on this one on the 231 and 12 on the uh, the 121 well there's there's the really big differences between these so far is the uh, the amount of ohms on the coils so uh, that's probably a good reason why you can't uh, use these coils uh, on each other. You end up burning something up. We all know that. The, the, us that uh, work with this stuff all the time, there's always a reason for everything. All right, let's check this out. Let's see if we can take this apart and see what's going on on the inside of this since it has the uh, some components in there. And uh, let's see if I can figure out how to take this apart without breaking it. There's a gap right there, so I'm assuming that's where I'm going to start. we don't have to take it all the way apart. There's the little slide. Let's zoom down just a little bit. And hopefully this uh, focuses in on here. Got to swap out some glasses here so I can actually see. This is the contact that slides. Got our, our three fingers here. Looks like one goes on the black part here, one goes on the silver part next to it, and then the other goes right here. That one jumps up here when it's in the off position, so this must be the on-off, and this is the variable. 
I'm assuming one of them has to be uh, ground, maybe. We have two in this one. Well, it's the same thing in here. We just don't have the uh, the electronic components. Looks like we got a diode. Uh, what is that? That's probably a. That is a. Uh, Let me get this to right. BT134W, it looks like. I'm assuming it's a trait because it's controlling AC. And then we got a little, little capacitor over the side here. And the, the thing, the thing that, uh, I wonder about is uh, is why they build it on something white. What is that? That pops up there. That comes out there, huh? That looks like a piece of ceramic. Let me get an eyeball full under my magnifying glass. Yeah, why do they build that on ceramic? Heat, maybe? Looks like there's even a, a component right here, but I can't tell what that is. It, it might be just a resistor or something because it's just black underneath some goo. So maybe it's a resistor, some uh, resistance, resistor pad of some sort. That's what's on the other side of that. 230, 240, VSC, whatever that is, and then a bunch of other numbers. Zero slash eight dash 15. And then it looks like a part number. 2.615.298.784. Well, if you ever need that number, there's that. Now on this side we got, uh, what is that? I guess it goes this way. 2E.B or 8. My guess is an 8. 2e.8. All right. Well, there we go. If you ever want to know what the difference is between 230 and 220 or 120, then I guess that's the uh, that's the difference. I'll let this one hang around just in case I need it for parts, or maybe. Someday, if that just goes completely to heck, maybe I'll uh, I'll find me a transformer that can uh, power me up, and I'll be able to use it. All right, there you go. Short, quick, quick video just to see what's inside. All right, we'll see you on the next one.